Welcome to Panels and Borders. I'm Dominic. So I'm going to do another She-Ra video. So, uh, but this one's going to be about the design of She-Ra, but it's going to be a little bit different because it's going to be me drawing the new 2018 She-Ra. So this design has caused like a big stink across the internet. I've talked about it. Other channels have talked about it. And uh, so I kind of thought about the other day and is it really the design or is it just because it's drawn in that really, I don't know, cartoonish, childish looking Cal art style. So what I decided to do is create a video where I draw the She-Ra 2018 in my style. So I'm just going to, first of all, I'm going to show you some of the influences that uh, influence some of my artwork. And uh, then, uh, then we'll get to the drawing. So some of my influences are the like fantasy paintings and fantasy sci-fi painters. Like uh, this one is by uh, Boris Vallejo, who's one of my favorite painters. And uh, he, I like his fantasy artwork and his uh, science fiction paintings. Him and his wife, uh, Julie Bell, I have several of their hardcover books. And uh, they're some of my favorite painters. And as you can see, they it almost has that very Masters of the Universe feel to it. With the kind of like sometimes the mix between barbarians and technology and stuff. And uh, I really like that. Now here's a painting by Julie Bell. This is one of uh, my favorite paintings that she did. And uh, also Frank Vizita is another favorite one of mine. His paintings were what inspired Masters of the Universe. If you look at the box art, it very much has this uh, look to it, this feel to it, the paintings that were done. Also, Joe Jusco is another painter. I have a couple of his books in hardcover. And uh, this is Red Sonia that he painted. He also did like a lot of superhero stuff for Marvel and Wizard Comics. And uh, so here's some of my drawings and you definitely see some of the influence. Uh, so here's one of my drawings. This is like watercolor and uh, ink that I did. And I kind of had this theme going with uh, these warrior barbarian girls with these animal companions. So she has like a, a hawk or an eagle on her shoulder. And it's kind of like you can see there's two moons, so it's on some other world. Here's another one I did. This one I did quite a few years ago. I scanned it into Photoshop and inked it and painted it in Photoshop. And uh, it's kind of like sci-fi mixed with like barbar that barbarian look. Now this one I did a couple of years ago. Did it in a sketchbook and uh, I drew it and then inked it and then painted it with watercolor. And uh, so this one I actually used a photo reference for this drawing. And it was this girl here that I found on Pinterest uh, holding that weight plate. So her hands were in the perfect position to be holding a spear. And I used the lighting in this photograph as a guide for the shadow and the lighting for uh, my drawing. So I do that quite a bit. I'll look up like a uh, actual fitness model or someone like that, that if they have like the right pose that I want to use. And I'll use them as like a photo reference for my drawings. And so this is what I'm going to do with the 2018 She-Ra. And I'm going to keep basically everything the same. The only difference is I'm going to change the headgear. Because you can see this her standard headgear in this uh, uh, shot right here of her holding up the sword. Instead of using this headgear, I'm going to replace it with this one here that was seen in the trailer. in her When she wore that all gold armor that was briefly seen in the full trailer. I think this headgear looks a lot better than what uh, she normally wears. And so I found, took some searching, but I found a photo that I think will work perfectly for this drawing. Here's the photo here uh, of this fitness model. I think this model has like the perfect She-Ra build. Like she's not overly muscular, but she's still pretty toned and still has some definition to her. And you know, she's, the lighting's already right. You know, it's kind of got like a bright source light over top that's shining down. So that would be light from the power sword. So that's what I'm gonna use. So here is, uh, so on to the drawing, and then after the drawing's over, uh, I will kind of go through what I drew a bit and explain it. So here is me drawing the 2018 She-Ra.
So this is the finished product of my pencils of Shira. Now I didn't go in too crazy with any kind of shading or cross hatching because I'm actually going to scan this and ink it in Clip Art Studio. And that's going to be the second part to this video. I'm, this is going to be a two parter. And uh, so just to kind of go through the drawing a little bit, I kept the cape short like in the cartoon. And I think it looks, this design looks better when it's not done in that CalArt style. Like if, they could have made the Stark cartoon still pretty cool if they didn't uh, use that CalArt style. They could have still used this design. Uh, I think Shiro still would have looked good. And uh, I kind of kept some details. So I'm going to later on go in and maybe tweak some stuff. But uh, I still kept like the thicker eyebrows as you can see. And uh, really the only changes I made was the headgear. But uh, the, as for the boots, the boots were a little bit bulky in the, in the cartoon. So I kind of streamlined the boots and made them a little bit uh, more uh, slim fitting. And uh, the sword, I didn't make any changes to. I pretty much kept the sword the same. And uh, yeah, because the swords, I, I prefer the original sword, but I wanted to keep everything as is on the cartoon. With the exception of changing over that headgear and slimming down the boots. And uh, so that's my whole walkthrough of my finished pencils for this. And um, the next video will be me coloring it in uh, Clip Art Studio. So hopefully it turned out pretty good. I think it turned out all right. I think I was successful in draining some of the soy out of this design. Maybe dewoking it a little bit. So let me, let me know what you think in the comments section. If you think uh, I improved it or it still looks like crap, this design. And I will see you at the next one. Thank you to all of my subscribers. And thank you for watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification when new videos are uploaded.